Immediately after Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River by John the Baptist, the Holy Spirit came on him, and the Holy Spirit led him away into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And we all know that he overcame the devil. He resisted all temptation, and after that the devil fled from him. If we decide to follow Jesus Christ and we obey Him, we repent of sin and ourselves, and we are baptized in water, and we ask Him for the Holy Spirit, then the Holy Spirit will also lead us into the wilderness. He will take you where you will be alone. And the devil will tempt you, and he will test you, and you will need to overcome. Your faith will be severely tested. Without the Holy Spirit, you just won't make it. When God led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he took them through the Red Sea, which is a type of the baptism. And then he took them into the desert. They had the fire column by night and the cloud by day to guide them. But these people kept on longing to go back to Egypt, to the flesh pots of Egypt. They never got to know the ways of God. They never got to trust God. And they annoyed God so much that in his wrath he swore that they would not enter his rest. He killed them all in the desert. And of the original multitude that left Egypt, only Joshua and Caleb and the children of the sinners, those who rebelled against God, only their children were allowed to go into the land that the Lord had promised. Dear friends, exactly the same today. The majority of believers are saved. The Lord Jesus saves them from sin, from the world, but they don't want to be saved. They don't want to follow Jesus. Many of them do not even cross the water. They will not even follow Jesus and be baptized. Many of them reject the Holy Spirit. They don't want the Holy Spirit because they've got a Bible. They do not follow the Holy Spirit. They go to church. They reject Jesus Christ. Jesus saved them, but they will not go into the promised land. They will not go into the kingdom of heaven because they will not follow the Holy Spirit. It is not easy to follow Jesus. You will be severely tested and tried, and you must overcome. You must overcome and be victorious over yourself, the flesh, sin, and the devil. You must be equipped to be a true son of God. Majority of people don't want that. They don't want to follow Jesus. They just want salvation. They want the promised land. But they don't want the Lord, the King of the Promised Land. They're not willing to follow the Holy Spirit. Dear friend, if you follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit will take you into the wilderness. He will not take you to church. He will not take you to fellowship. He will not take you to Bible study. He will take you alone. Will you follow Jesus and get to know Him? Truly get to know Him. And that is why he will say to many believers who believed that they were saved, he will say to them, go away. I never knew you. You workers of wickedness. They did not follow Jesus. They did not overcome sin. They were still sinners. They were still part of the world. They loved the world and the things of the world. They thought they were saved, yes. 
but they did not realize that they would not have eternal life. The only way, dear friend, that we will have eternal life is if we overcome. And you can only overcome if you have the Holy Spirit of Christ guiding you. You can only overcome if you follow Jesus and obey Him. You can only overcome if you are thoroughly tested and you stand in the name of the Lord Jesus. Are you in the wilderness? Or are you longing to go back to the flesh pots of Egypt? Are you sitting in church having a holiday, going with a flow? Or are you following Jesus through the wilderness? Are you getting to know Him? Do you know His voice? Your sheep know His voice, they follow Him. Are you one of His sheep? Do you want to enter promised land? Do you want eternal life? Then you need to follow Jesus, friend. Pick up your cross every day. Deny yourself and follow Him. Or else you will not go through the narrow door. May Jesus bless you.